Welcome to Ma'at Speaks and welcome to today's episode of Ma'at Wednesdays. I am happy that you join me today again as we continue to discuss the principles of Ma'at. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Leah Kenyatta and here on this channel, Ma'at Speaks, we aim to bring Ma'at, also known as Balance, back to our communities through the seven principles of Ma'at, which are truth, order, justice, harmony, balance, reciprocity, and righteousness. During Ma'at Wednesdays, we take a deeper dive into the principles so that we can learn how to apply these principles into our daily lives and use them to build unity in our families and communities. The past few weeks, we discussed the principles truth, justice, and reciprocity. So if you haven't watched those videos, I do suggest you watch those videos first and then come back to this video. So today we will be discussing harmony. We will continue reading from the book, The 14 Keys, Power, Unity, and Success Unlocked. So family, I want to reiterate the importance of self-transformation. Through self-transformation, we become aware of the changes we need to make and then we are able to apply the changes needed on a personal level which can have a great impact on our relationships which affect how we develop a code and culture in our homes and community. So again, Ma'at. Ma'at the Netaret or goddess of divine order, truth, balance, and justice teaches us how to bring balance and order into our lives through the seven principles of Ma'at in order for us to reclaim who we are and to make the most of our lives and manifest in the subconscious and conscious world. So let's talk about the principle of harmony. Harmony comes from the Greek word harmonia, which means joint, agreement, and concord. So not to delve too deeply into the European Greek mythology that actually derives from African thought. That's a conversation for another time. But Harmonia and Greek mythology, um, that was the goddess that had the power to influence all forms of peace, especially in marital unions. But it is also said that Harmonia also brought peace to the lives of mortals in order to influence the end of wars, mass riots, fights, etc. When I think of harmony, I think of music and the harmonious blends of a melody. Harmony in music consists of the notes or chords played along with the melody. So when two or more pitches are played simultaneously. So if you are a musician, you know that you can play a note or chords along with the melody and it can change the mood or the feeling of the song. Each note, each chord has a purpose, usually resulting in a pleasant sound and emotion. On the other hand, the opposite of harmony is dissonance. Now, dissonance occurs in music when there is a clash of sounds. So two notes that are not in the same chord causing a lack of harmony and usually results in an unpleasant sound and can sometimes cause discord in the body. You've probably had that feeling, right? So both harmony and dissonance have their purpose. So for example, in music, composers use dissonance to create a deep feeling or to invoke in emotion, such as what you hear in classical music or even sometimes in jazz. Now, harmony is especially important when building unity in our communities. We often hear about people having a certain frequency or vibe. 
And this is actually very important to understand because our own personal frequencies will help us to understand how we can work in harmony or accompany others that are on the same path as our own or have the same goal in mind. So just like music, our note, our purpose assists us in understanding who we work in perfect harmony with and how. So understand that it's not enough to just have harmony within a group. After all, the KKK other groups uh, have worked in harmony and this is where reciprocity and karma come into play. Now true harmony must begin with the individual so within oneself so that true harmony may be achieved amongst the collective. Now Chief Yua tells us that an individual whose internal vibration is not melodious and contains a harmonic discordancy among spirit, soul, mind, and body is a gathering of confused and broken spirits. Which means that the dissonance within will often lead to external disharmony. And external disharmony if not always, most often spreads to the collective. So our own frequency and the frequencies of others can work together to create a balanced self or soul, a balanced family, and a balanced community. So let us continue to dive deeper into the Ma'atic Principle Harmony. From the Book of the 14 Keys, Power, Unity, and Success Unlocked by Chief Yua. Harmony, the vibratory contracts made to compose what we call reality are the nuclear basis of harmony. Our experiences are comprised of a series of contracts that interweave among truth and illusion or non-being and being. Harmony is a design tapestry of differing vibrations to construct an idyllic blend. This cosmic phenomena requires diversified vibrations. The stipulation of diversity does not negate from the importance of comporting in unison, but harmony takes into account the uniqueness of complex forces and concepts and finds a point at which they can converge and complement each other's crux. This can happen between any given number of units. For this work, we should remember that individuals and groups are units that carry their own vibratory tone autonomously and corporately. What we call music is a harmonic blend of sound and silence. A body in its natural state of health is in harmony with itself and its holding environment. When a force is in harmony with the natural environment, it protracts itself via a reciprocal exchange of energy. A force that is out of harmony with itself will also be out of harmony with its contextual environment. In fact, it may find itself in an environment that is not designed for its own native vibration. When this harmonic dislocation happens, it experiences discord. The only way to resolve this discord is to change the cooperative design to adhere to the valuable vibration, tone, unit, person, or remove that vibration, tone, unit, person from the otherwise agreeable composition. One bad apple can spoil the bunch. One errant vibration can knock the entire arrangement out of harmonic alignment and atomize the integrity of the grouping. If an energy is where it does not belong, it becomes unable to sustain itself through the natural 
complementary process of giving and receiving organically with its surroundings. When this displacement is present, either the environment will feed disproportionately from said energy or the energy will take its food from the environment as opposed to exchanging energy with it. As we sink deeper into the catatonic caverns of our own ego, the likelihood for euphonious placement within any environment other than the one charted by our own egocentric thoughts become less and less likely. When this happens, we find ourselves constantly searching for a place where we can feel like we belong. The isolating effect of our internal disharmony becomes more apparent as the natural defense mechanisms of the universe protects others from our diseased state of being. The universe will ensure that mutation or dissolution occurs in a banished space as not to interfere with the journey of others on this long red road of life. When the ego takes over completely, we convince ourselves that we are so special that the problem is with the world and its inhabitants as we are resolute in our point of view. Our own defective personality or vibratory emission never comes into question. Denial is a great place to live if you can afford the rent. The price to pay is barrenness. This is the end of the chapter. Next week, during Ma'at Wednesdays, we will discuss the principal balance. Again, if you would like your own copy of Chief Yua's book, the link is in the description. And don't forget, family, to comment below and give me your thoughts on harmony and how we will begin to create true harmony in our families and communities. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Peace, family.